Hello all, welcome to Tip Top C Sharp tutorial series. Today we will be looking at internals of the dictionary. This is continuation of dictionary part 1. In this part we have already covered basics and different operations that we can do on dictionary. We would recommend you to go through that video once. I will have that link specified in the description section. In second part we will try to cover internals of dictionary and how it is implemented. Let's get started. The agenda for today will be dictionary internals, hash how dictionary is implemented using hash and what is hash collision and how do we solve it. To begin with, .NET has two different implementations of dictionary which we will be using in day to day programming. One is normal dictionary where internal implementation is done using hash table and Another one is sorted dictionary where imp internal implementation is done using red and black balance tree. Today we will be looking in detail about dictionary which has been implemented using hash table. Dictionary implements hash table in most efficient way. Theoretically time taken to access values from the dictionary should be constant that is big O of 1. The hash table as soon as we create a dictionary, a hash table of size 16 is created. Let's create a dictionary and see. Imagine we are creating a dictionary like this. Internally, .NET creates a hash table like this. If you look at hash table at the beginning, you can see as array of key. Instead of array of key value pair, it will be array of null. Hash table in dictionary is an array of key value pairs with all the values assigned to null at the beginning. The difference is the way key value pair is stored at a specific index. Let's try to understand how index of an item is calculated as soon as you add an item. Imagine that we are adding an item uh, where the key is tutorial. And so we try to get a hash code as you know that ob object class provides an method called as get hash code. So for each value we can try to get a hash code. So we are adding an item in the dictionary that is tutorials. Key value pair the key is tutorial and value is my class which is a dummy object which I am adding. As you can see hash code for tutorials is printed in console as below the value is 1406 something let's see how to calculate an index for the specific hash code so the formula is simple you get the hash code and divide uh, modulate modular set with capacity as you can see here the capacity for this at the initial stage is 16 so we divide it by 16 and the index will be 2 so the internal hash table array will be updated like this. Yeah. We can see that every everything else points to a null, but instead only at index 2 we can see that a new key value pair is added. Now let's see some more items and see how dictionary behaves internally. Let's try to add two keys, one is C and another one is sharp. We try to calculate index for this one by using our existing formula that is hash code divided by size or capacity. Now we can see that for key 2 the index will be 3, for key 3 the index will be 8. Now the internal hash table will be updated like this. As you can see that at index 3 we can see that a key value pair has been added. Now at index 8, you can see that we are having another key value pair. Now there must be a question ticking in your mind. What if two keys have same hash code or have hash code in such a way that calculated index results in same? Yes, we'll be moving to that part that is hash collision. And let's see with some example. So hash collision is two or more keys have same hash code 
or lead up to the same index. Hash collision is common in dictionary because the size is 16 but possible values are more. Hash collision cannot be avoided. We cannot avoid hash collision because there is a possibility that multiple values return the same hash code or they will return the same index. But we need to manage it. Let's see how to manage it. In dictionary solves this problem by a technique called as chaining or it is also called as linear chain. Let's try to add one more item. The item that you can add is series where series also gives the index as 8. Now, if you see at index 8, you see that two key value pairs are added. So, hash internally maintains at every index a list of key value pairs. So that if in case if there are more than one key value pair which lead to same index then it should be able to store it. The problem with this approach is whenever you are trying to access a key and with sharp when you come at the index 8 you see that there are two objects. So you have to again manually compare this one. That's why whenever we are trying to access or retrieve item from the dictionary we say that the time taken is almost always constant that is big of one but it is in most of the cases but not in all the cases moving on we are done with the normal dictionary implementation the next one that we want to look at is sorted dictionary sorted dictionary internal internally implements red black balance tree Insertion and removal is log n plus tree balancing. Retrieval and accessing of key value pair in sorted dictionary is always log n. I will just summarize whatever points I have covered. One is internal size of dictionary is 16 and will be doubled once the number of items added in the dictionary reaches hash size. So initially the dictionary size will be 16. As soon as the number of items that we add in the dictionary reaches 16, so it will be doubled. Dictionary key, dictionary retrieval using key almost takes big of one. Dictionary performance depends on uniqueness of hash code. So if every hash code returns the same key, then it will lead up to the same index, which increases the time taken. Imagine if all the items that you add will lead up to the same index imagine at index 8 then whenever you are retrieving it go, it leads up to index 8 but again it has to compare each and every item that's why the performance of dictionary depends on the uniqueness of hash code hash collisions are common in the dictionary and are managed by using linear chain contains key and contains value takes big o of n which must be avoided in most of the cases because each and every key has to be compared within the dictionary or each and every item has to be compared within the dictionary. That should cover internals of dictionary and as well as sorted dictionary. Let me know if I have missed out any of the things. Thank you for listening to today.